Hi, welcome to Fusion 360 video tutorial. I want to do the plastic basket now in Fusion 360. So let's begin and have fun with Fusion 360. Okay, so let's start with our first sketch. I need a sketch maybe on that plane right here. I need a spline, so go for a spline, okay, and this might look like this, okay. Then I need to add some constraints, so I would align those two points horizontal, and if you align that handle horizontal as well, this will go tangent into that one. Okay, now add some dimensions. This should be 50. This might be 150. And that distance might be... Nope. That distance might be 150 as well. Okay, now let's adjust this a little bit. Maybe like this. Okay, now stop sketch. And I need another sketch because I want to pattern that sketch somehow. So I go for another sketch right there. And that would be a circle. Therefore I need that point. So I go for project and project that point into that sketch. Now let's make a circle. And this should have a diameter of 2. Okay. Now stop sketch. Maybe move this a little bit over here. Okay, now I could try to pattern that sketch along a line or a path. So go for a pattern on path. And you can go for faces, bodies, features. And I cannot pattern that sketch. I cannot select it. It's not a feature. So what will I do? I will patch that circle and then pattern the faces. So go for patch and go for patch and patch this one. And new body and OK. So now I can pattern this one along that path. So go for create pattern on path. And I want to put on that face, that surface, along that path. And I would need somehow the length of this path. So I will go for spacing. And the path would be this one. No. Select the object that would be the face. Select the path that would be this one. Okay, now it works. So I need a spacing and I will need 10. So let's go for measure and I want to measure that curve okay and I will divide this by 9 and let's make 10 instances and confirm let's take a look looks good Okay, and I can make a revolve with this faces. 
So let's do this. Go for model. Go for revolve. And I want to revolve that pattern, obviously. And I cannot select it right here, so I will select the faces like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And the axis would be this one. And I missed one, so go here and select this one again. Now we got all the surfaces and I got a whole lot of bodies. Take a look. These are the surfaces and that are the revolved surfaces. Ten bodies. Okay. Now let's hide all of these for the moment at least. Okay, let's make a revolve with this one. So go for create and I need of course a patch. Make a revolve with this sketch. Axis would be this one again and confirm. Now I want to thicken the surface so I go back to my model and go to modify or create, go to create Go to thicken. I want to thicken that surface. Symmetric with 0 0.5 in both directions. Okay. Now that's another body. Hide it. And I need to sketch one once again. I need a plane. So go for plane. Long path, yes, that would be the path, and the distance would be zero. Now let's make a sketch right on that plane, and that would be another circle, and the diameter should be two. Stop sketch, and now let's make a sweep. Create a sweep, where is it? There it is. And with sketch 3 as profile. Uh, Somewhat this doesn't work, so let's select it right here. That would be the profile. And the path would be this one. New body and OK. Now I want to make a circular pattern with that body. So go for mod, not modify, but create pattern, circular pattern, and I want to pattern not faces, but a body. So that would be the body. And the axis would be again that y axis, and I want to have, let's say, 48 instances. Now let's show body I think that's a thickened surface and that would be all the others okay now let's combine these so go for modify combine make not an intersect but a join and target body might be this one right here no, not this one, that one. Okay. And all the tool bodies. This will take a while. As in the other programs. And then afterwards I will make an intersect with my rotated, my revolved surface. 
So that's okay, confirm. So there will be only two solid bodies right here. Again, it takes a while and I'm done. And now I want to let's take a look. That would be the surface, the thickened surface. Yes. I want to intersect that body with this body. So go for modify combine change operation from join to intersect and the target body I will use that body and the tool body or the two bodies will be body 20 So did it work? Yes. It will take again a while. And hopefully it will not crash because it crashed before. But there was an update in the background and I think that caused the crash. So it looks good. Now I can confirm. Again it will compute take a look here it will take again a while but in the end it should be okay so these bodies give those programs a really hard time and I'm done so if you liked it give it a like leave a nice comment Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my Facebook cat page, it would be really awesome to get a whole lot of likes and subscriptions on my Facebook cat page as well. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one, bye bye.